Okay, so I want to show you guys how I would start off with this assignment. It is your first assignment, so I'm going to go over it um, the same way how I would probably look at a job and how I would receive a job, how I would start the job. So right now, <clears throat> you would go into your classwork in Google Classroom, go to the assignment, which is logo design, it will look similar to this on your computer. It's just that I am able to edit the assignment. I'm sure that you'll be able to click on it like you do the sketchbook, view it, make sure that everything is there. So if I'm a first year student, you're gonna design your own personal logo, include the name or your name or initials. So you could do either or for the finish as a word mark or a letter mark. So it has to be either one of these two. But in the sketches, I wanna make sure that you're creating all five different types of marks. So if you don't remember what these are, go back into the presentation or um, you could look it up. I would just go into the presentation because it has exactly what I'm talking about. So the rubric is here, which is not fully finished, but it will be when you guys receive this assignment. So I would look over the instructions first, and I will go into the assignment, making sure that I read the instructions and I'm following the design process. So for the first part of the process, you're gonna define the task. So this means um, you're going to understand what the assignment is. Yeah, you're designing a logo, but it's a little bit more than that. You need to make sure you understand the whole scope of the project. So you want to make sure that you're using Illustrator. It's only one color. It needs to be done in Illustrator so it's scalable and it's also a vector. Um, you're using the negative space creatively. That's part of requirements, which is in the rubric. So once you have all of these, then that um, part of the rubric could be checked off. But what we're going to go over first is the specs. And I'm going to show you how to get 100% on the specs part. So this would be 20% of your grade. All right, you're launching Illustrator. Uh, let me get rid of this one here. And you should be able to come up with this screen. If you don't have this screen, you could go to File and go to new because you're opening up a file from scratch okay so it looks like these specs are already to size but you always want to make sure that that your increments here so like uh your you know where your inches are or pixels it could be set to points and someone before you that was on that computer had been working in points so you want to make sure this is set to inches on the assignment sheet it says inches so let's go back to the assignment sheet here and you see that the document size is three inches by three inches so we're already at three and we need to set this to make sure it's three also down here in the corner you can see if I'm pressing any keyboard strokes Color mode, sometimes when you're working, it says that you're in um, a grayscale, but just make sure you're always in CMYK when you're using Illustrator. I don't think we'll be using grayscale or uh, any other color mode. 300 points per inch for raster effects. We're not creating raster graphics in Illustrator. It's always going to be vector preview mode, I would just keep it as default. So then you're just going to make sure it's three inches by three inches, which should be a square, and then you're going to hit create. So now we have your document here. And we can pull up rollers by hitting command R. You can see the rollers are up here just to make sure. See it's three inches here and then three inches on the bottom here. Okay, so then once you have the document set, 
you know that uh, the first step is to be creating your sketches. So this would either come later or else you're just trying to get your specifications so that you could get 100% on your specifications first. So let's go to save your document. So we're gonna save as, we're saving it onto the computer. And right here we could see that the format is Illustrator. So we want to rename our file as our first name, underscore, last name, underscore, logo. Always going back into your assignment sheet so you can see first name, underscore, last name, underscore, logo, and then the file format gets added once you select which file format it is. So let's go back and you can see here it says file format, Illustrator, you go to Adobe PDF. We're going to hit save, we get another screen, and in this screen here, we will leave it at default is fine, and Illustrator default is fine because we'll be opening it up again. If I was to be saving this and sending it out, I would outline everything and save it as a high quality print. But this is fine for now, so let's save this. And we can minimize our screen here. And then we'll go over and take a look at what we have on our desktop. So here is my file. It's named correctly. It has the file format at the end. Uh, right now I'm using stacks, so your computer may not. So you can, you would probably see it like this. I would try to keep your desktop as clean as possible. So if you have any files here, I would create folders and drag it into the folder so that you can have a nice and clean desktop. So this is how I would start off uh, creating your file before you go in and try to uh, do your sketches or uh, maybe you can do this before you uh, import your sketches into the computer. So what you're doing to do that is you're scanning it just like you do for your sketch of the day and you're bringing it over to your computer and once you do that uh, I can show you you're going to go into file and you're placing your sketch. So then once you hit place, um, you can look for the sketch. So say, say um, this was my sketch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you're able to import a PDF, but I would save your sketches when you scan as a JPEG. So I don't know if I have any sketches here, but uh, let's just open up. Let's just open up. Uh, let's try a PDF just to see if it it works. Uh, PNG. Let's try. try this one okay so it does work you just have to click and you're dragging out to create the size of what you're importing and once you import it I would open up my layers and you know lock your sketch so that you can trace it add another layer and then you can Trace it with the pen tool. So you're going to go around and trace as good as you can. Make sure that we use the techniques that we did while we were creating those shapes with the pen tool exercises. It has to look better than your sketch because I know sometimes I see sketches that are really loose and I get finishes that are very loose, which shouldn't really be like that. You should be able to create the finishes that look better than your sketches.
All right, so this is how you can start off um, and file name is correct, file format is correct. When you save this or when, you, um, when you're about to save for upload, make sure you're not showing me the sketch. So either go in here and drag the sketch to the trash or hide the sketch. You can save it that way. Um, just make sure the sketch is not visible when you upload it. 